Well, could accusations of corruption and failure to contend with the crime wave cost Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo her job? Charles Adams and Quan X have today's face off. Our county judge Lena Hidalgo, who is her office is facing a tremendous corruption investigation. We've seen three felony indictments alleging bid rigging, transference of uh, an attempt to send millions of dollars of taxpayer money to pl a political crony. We, we've seen a, allegations by her that this is all a political witch hunt, despite the fact that our district attorney is also a Democrat. But right now in this election that she's facing Alex Mueller, she's refusing to debate her, suggesting it's not worth her time. This indicates to me that our county judge realizes she can't defend the corruption in her office, their failure to achieve any goals for the city, the efforts to defund the police that might cost us some statewide funding, and just a whole lot of concerns that we as Houstonians have about the state of this city and this but it's county. More, it's and more yet than she just won't that. debate. It's, it's disgusting. More, this is bigger than debate, in my opinion, okay. Charles. This is about. It looks and appears as though corruption is at an all-time high in Harris County politics. I agree. And remember Miss Skillen, Bernardine Skillen, it, she was working for the county also. And, but we see now she's under indictment and she cooperated with the federal government. Also, one of the three out of Lena Hidalgo's office has already pled guilty and a part of that plea agreement was to cooperate with the federal government. When you look at William Paul Thomas who worked for the mayor's office, he's pled guilty and also agreed to work with the federal government about other corruption. So what we've been seeing in these current indictments in Harris County Houston politics is just the tip of the iceberg. There's more to come because you and I both know you cannot have corruption at that level in the county and city politics and it not be in other places. Places also, corruption is an infectious disease in politics, and it is spread it beyond Miss Hall, Mr. Dalgo's office as well as Mayor Turner's office. But the people, they're sick and tired of having to see corrupt politicians and corrupt political systems. And that's why so many of the men and women do no longer want to go to the polls on election day because they feel like their vote does not matter. And do their vote really matter if you're only putting the same corrupt people back in office? Do their vote really matter if we cannot vote to take people who are corrupt out of office and have someone come in to clean the system up and restore integrity and transparency in the hearts of the elect of the, those who go to election polls and and vote for politicians, we have failed in this city yeah. and this county. You know, Quano, you say people are sick and tired. I think we're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yes. After the pandemic, after everything, I think it's time for a change. Does that mean vote for a candidate you don't love just so you can change something? Possibly, but we need to get the, to the point where we have some accountability and the corruption is rooted out and their people are put in handcuffs. By God's grace, something has to change because the voters are sending the message by not going to the polls right. that they don't trust it anymore. You can watch much more of Face Off streaming Thursday nights at 7. Just go to fox26houston.com.